This week's Torah portion begins the story of the greatest Jewish leader, Moshe Rabbeinu. But how did Moshe Rabbeinu's birth come about? It came about through the heroic efforts of the daughter of Pharaoh, who risked her life to defy her own father's order and to save Moses from the Nile River. And fascinatingly, she names the baby Moshe because it means I drew him from the water. And the rabbis say, what was the name that Moses' own parents, Amram and Yocheved, gave Moses when he was born. And our rabbis in the Talmud reveal that his name at birth was Tuvya, which means goodness from God. But yet, the name that is recorded in the Torah for posterity, the name that we all refer to is not Tuvya Rabbeinu, but Moshe Rabbeinu, the name that Batya, the princess in Egypt, the daughter of Pharaoh, bestowed upon this child. And this is an everlasting testimony to how God rewards and celebrates kindness and goodness. Because she was the one who rescued the child, she gave him life. And therefore her name is the name that is chosen in the Torah over the very name that his own parents, Amram and Yocheved, gave him at birth. And the lesson, the very first lesson of the life of Moshe Rabbeinu, the greatest Jewish leader that ever lived, is that kindness and compassion and mercy can come from anyone even from the daughter of Pharaoh, because every human heart understands what is good, what is kind, what is righteous, and we can choose a proper path regardless, and that the foundation of Torah, of Moses the greatest leader, was an act of kindness, because kindness is the foundation of the whole universe. As the Torah says, and we say in our daily prayers, Olam Chesed Yibana, the world is built on kindness, and therefore kindness is a prelude to the study of Torah and love and generosity and care for one another is essential to being a Jew. And that's why it begins with the story of Batya saving Moshe. Because imagine if Moses would not have been saved by this woman Batya, if, had she not shown kindness. Who knows if all of Jewish history would have unfolded, whether Moses would have redeemed the Jews from Egypt, taken them out, brought them the Torah from Mount Sinai, been the greatest prophet ever to teach Torah till today, brought them to the land of Israel. One act of kindness can change the entire trajectory of the world. The past few months we hear the song, Am Yisrael Chai, Am Yisrael Chai. The nation of Israel lives. As we begin the book of Exodus, Shemos, it's the first time that the Jewish people are referred to as an Am, a nation. Up until now, we were a family, the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. Now we become an Am. Pharaoh says this nation, Israel, is becoming too powerful, too prosperous. They are multiplying. Let's enslave them. And it's pointed out that the secret to Am Yisrael Chai is in the word Am. Because the word Am means nation. But if you change the vowel to pronounce it Im, instead of nation, it means with. And both are true. The strength of Am Yisrael, how did we survive for thousands of years? It's Am, we are a nation, but we're also Im, we're together, we're with one another, we stand by each other. And therefore the message of Moses was, as you were rescued, you must rescue others. And he devoted his life to rescuing his brethren. He went out of the palace to save the Jewish people. That's what we've seen over the past three months. Everyone is going out of their comfort zone to help one another, to serve one another, to rescue one another. The courage, the selflessness, the devotion, the sacrifice is unparalleled. This is the strength of Am Yisrael, the nation of Israel, that we are also in, we are with each other, with one another, with every Jew around the world. In Israel there's an organization called Ezer Mitzion. Ezer Mitzion helps people who need to have a bone marrow transplant. And they find donors and there was a Jew in Israel by the name of Chaim, elderly man, and he needed a bone tra marrow transplant. And all of his family were tested, but none of them were a match. So he went on the registry. And a little over a year ago, he gets a call from Ezra Mitzion, they found a match. But the way it works in the protocol is they do not reveal the donor until a year after the procedure. And so last December, he went through a bone marrow transplant. And in a year from the bone marrow transplant, he was going to be reunited or meet for the first time his donor. And they would become best friends and family forever. 
Well, his donor was a young doctor by the name of Daniel Levy, who lived in Kibbutz Be'eri. And on October 7th, when the terrorists infiltrated the kibbutz, he was called to come to the clinic to help treat the wounded. And he left his family and ran to the clinic in the kibbutz. And he started treating the wounded with whatever medical supplies he had. Tragically, the terrorists entered into the clinic, killing him and all of the other members of the community in the clinic, killing Daniel Levy as he was treating and saving lives of others. Well, just last week, they revealed to Chaim that the donor of his bone marrow transplant was Daniel Levy, who was murdered on October 7th. And he would never get to meet the man who gave him life. But of course, Chaim said, let me meet his wife and kids. And the families were united. And they hugged and they embraced and they cried. And then he bent down and looked at Emma, the four-year-old daughter of Daniel Levy. And he said, Here's a, he gave her a present. And he said, I want you to know your father was a hero. He saved my life. My blood was very sick. And your father gave me his blood. And that's why I'm alive today. And he cried as he said to her, I will always be here for you. Anything you ever need, I will take care. Because your father gave me the very life I have. A little Emma said, can I give you a hug? And she hugs Chaim, hugging the blood of her father. This is the selfless sacrifice that so many Jews have made. Not only did Daniel Levy save lives during his lifetime, but even in his death he saved lives. This is the strength of the Jewish people, the love and the unity, the care and the concern for one another. May we experience only good blessings of health and happiness and continue to be there for one another, showing our love, because that is the foundation of the Jewish nation. Have a wonderful day.